What's your best noob tip for Dynamite? <clears throat> what are some of the things that you would use his star power for? Uh, some people will say that it's like useless. What is one of the funniest ways that you've used Dynamite's star power? Why can't we hit this Dynamite? <laughs> Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. It is time to brawl today. We've got another pro episode with you. Today we're going to be talking about Dynamite from my good friend Lukey Bear. How's it going, man? It's going good. Thanks for having me on. For those of you guys that are curious here, Lukey Bear here is a number, well, a, a top Dynamite player. He's him and maybe like a couple other guys. It's kind of a battle between who is number one, right? But you say that you're probably the best, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. It's not even not even a question here. So last season, you were pushing for number one Dynamite. How many trophies did you end up getting? Um, the highest I ever hit was 916. That's intense. At that point, what is it? Like, if you lose, you lose like eight, and you gain like one or two trophies at a time, right? Plus two minus seven. Plus two minus seven, that's rough. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and talk about just quick fire. Um, which game modes are is Dynamite good in and which are not? Okay, starting off with Gem Grab. Is he good in Gem Grab? Um, on a few certain maps. Okay. How about Solo Showdown? Um, you can play him on maybe three okay. and mostly with teaming though. And uh, Duo Showdown? Um, yeah, he, there's a few good ones. Okay. How about Heist? Pretty much every map you can play, except for a few. Okay. Brawl Ball? Um, no, not anymore. And how about Bounty? Um, yeah, there are definitely some maps where you can play them. Okay. If you had to pick a game mode, um, I imagine you would pick Heist as the best to push Dynamite in, right? For sure. What about a second game mode to pick, that pick, uh, push Dynamite in? I'd probably say Smash and Grab. Spoken like a true OG there, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So, based off of your responses right there, it sounds like Dynamite, with the exception of Bounty, uh, or sorry, with the exception of Brawl Ball, is good at every game mode, um, but not every single map. What, what makes certain maps good for Dynamite and what makes them a, a poor for Dynamite? Is it just okay, having a ton so, of walls, or what's what's the difference there? Okay, so basically he's good on maps with a lot of walls, and maps where you face people like Jesse, Penny, like, mm. people who, with turrets, like, lose usually to Dynamikes, and even tanks are really easy. It's a good matchup. Let's say I just unlocked a Dynamike. I think he unlocked him like 2,000 trophies or something like that, but let's say I just unlocked him and I'm wanting to get good at him. What's your best noob tip for Dynamite or for really kind of like getting used to him? All right, so um, the first thing you need to know is that it's easier to hit shots at max range. Okay. First of all, it's because um the Dynamite, like it always explodes after a certain amount of time after throwing it, mm -hmm. but more of the time is spent in the air. So as soon as the Dynamite lands, it explodes as well as like the TNT are more spaced out at further range. So there's a bigger chance that you'll actually land a shot. Okay, no, that's really solid there. So basically you have a bigger spread for the attack. So you're more likely to hit, but then also there's less time with the dynamite on the ground. So that it's less predictable where it'll land. Is that kind of what you're saying there? Yeah. Okay, that is awesome. I love that. Um, what about your tips for anybody that really wants to like master dynamite because like I'm okay with him, but but what what's the difference between like a, a pretty good player and an amazing player? Okay, so if you want to get really good, if you don't have a star power, you want to um change your direction of walking. Like if you're walking one way behind a wall and you're throwing, like you change directions because people like usually go with you. As well as like you want to randomly change up when you attack, like throw two rapid fire and then wait a minute and throw. Or like you just want to make it unpredictable when you're actually going to throw your TNT. Okay, that's really solid there. I like that because people, especially brawlers that cannot throw over walls, they're always looking at you. They're like, hey, that Dynamax there, I see him. I've got to be careful right there. So playing unpredictably is a really big, a big deal there. That makes sense. Um, any other really big pro tips that you would give to help a, a player really master Dynamite? Well, you want to get really good at his star power. Like, that's honestly the thing that makes him, like, the most versatile. Otherwise, he'd kind of struggle in a lot of situations where he's pretty good at. Okay, yeah, let's talk about his star power then. Uh, some people will say that it's, like, useless, or that it's stupid, or that he needs a different star power. What are your opinions on that? 
I think it's honestly one of the best in the game. Like, well, why it, is it that? It has so much versatility. <laughs> Um, so what what's what are some of the things that you would use his star power for? Because for me, I'm just like, like the best that I can do is just try to double jump with it and then like feel cool because I did it right, you know? <laughs> okay, so for his star power, like not only can you use it to jump over rivers and walls, mm -hmm. but also it's it's basically invulnerability. Like mm -hmm. you're immune for like one two seconds, however long you're in the air. So when you're playing, do you like actually use that? Like. Like, do you attack somebody and then throw it at your feet so you can jump and be immune? Like, how often do you actually do that? Um, quite a lot, honestly. Like, if I need to get to somewhere and I don't want to get hit, I'll just jump. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I am not at that level yet. <laughs> can you, like, predict exactly where you're going to land and, like, double jump consistently in the middle of battle? <laughs> Um, I don't double jump very much in the middle of battle, but yeah, I can pretty much predict where I'm going to go. Okay, so another question that I have then is when you're playing other pro players, are they also doing that? Or is that like some special skill that you've picked up? Or is that like, um, or is that like something that all pro dynamics like have to know how to do? Well, a lot of the pro dynamics I know also do that, but it's not like a requirement. Okay. Because, I mean, when it, when it first came out, I seriously was like, that is the stupidest star power. And for you to say it's, like, one of the most versatile is crazy. Clearly, I need to master Dynamite a little bit better here. <laughs> okay. So, we talked a little bit about his regular attack. We've talked about his star power. Um, let's talk about his super. What's the best way to use his super? Okay. So, in my opinion, there are five main ways where using your super is a good use of it. Awesome. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, the first one is when you can hit two people with one super because then you automatically get it back okay and plus is that, you get to damage two people is that the best way to use are you listing these in order of best to worst or just like randomly just any order okay cool using it on two people awesome and then that also immediately recharges his super right yeah cool what's uh point number two then okay so if you're in uh if you're like 1v1 against another brawler and they're doing a really good job of dodging it, sometimes i'll just like throw my super out because then they'll get knocked back and they'll stop moving. It allows me to like reset, figure out where they're going, mm -hmm. and then start from there. And then number three is destroying walls to help your, um, usually a Daryl if you're in heist, mm -hmm. or if you need to get to a certain spot or open something up. Okay, now let's say you're playing heist and there is nobody at the wall um, that you can actually deal damage to. Because obviously if you can break the wall and you can deal damage, that's like the best thing, right? But what if you have a choice between using a super on a brawler, using a super on that wall, or using a super on the safe. What do you do in that situation? Assuming the safe is at like 100%. Okay, so if I'm in range to hit the safe, I'll usually go for that. Okay. Unless my Daryl has a super himself. Okay. And if if my Daryl does, does have a super, but there's a brawler and a wall there, I'd probably go for the brawler. I'd only super open the wall if I can either hit a brawler or there's no brawler anywhere near me to like be attacking me while I'm hitting their wall. That makes sense. That's very good. I like that order there. Okay, so you mentioned a few points. What were the other points for how to use a super? Okay, another one, like this is especially useful in heist. Like if I'm seeing my Daryl go against another Daryl, I'll throw my super because then it'll stun the Daryl and damage him or mm. will not stun, will knock him back. And then my Daryl will land shots and build up his super, but it'll keep the other Daryl from charging up his. I like it. So you're actually using that as a kind of a mini stun, not like kind of like a tiny little bit of a Frank's super a little bit then. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. And then number five, what's it? What's that fifth way to use it? Okay. If you get someone really low and then they're like really trying to dodge you, they're moving back and forth and like you just can't hit them, then just use them to finish it off. Okay, cool. I like it. That's very solid there. So I guess some other questions that I have is which brawlers counter Dynamite? Um, well, obviously Mortis, and I'd also say that Crow's a tough matchup. Hmm, because he can move so fast. Yeah. It's just so easy for him to dodge. Okay, cool. Um, what about Barley? A uh, Barley versus Dynamite, um, who wins? Um, I'd say uh, an average Dynamite against an average Barley, I'd probably say a Barley would win. Okay, and why is that? Um, because Barley can just throw the bottle down and then back off so the Dynamite can't hit him. In order for the Dynamite to go and get to him, he has to run through the poison on the ground. Mm, 
that makes sense. Uh, let's say you're on a map where there's lots of walls and you have a, a you versus ricochet matchup. Who who will typically win out of a top tier ricochet and a top tier dynamite? I'd say a dynamite because he can take out the ricochet in two hits. Mm. And like, you just have to like dodge. Rico's like one of those brawlers that's impossible to counter unless you either have a Rico or a thrower on the right maps. Yeah. So good to have a dynamite there. Awesome. Um, how about brawlers that dynamite is a really hard counter against? I'd say um, tanks because they, I think they have a bigger hitbox. It always seems easier to hit them okay. as well as slow moving brawlers, like with the slowest speed, like Jesse, Penny. Like turrets and slow moving brawlers. Like anything else? Okay, I guess I have one more tip for his star power. Yeah. Okay, so when you throw down your dynamite, you have um, a few, like a second or so delay before it bounces. But you don't, some people don't realize that you can still move around and shoot. It's so like when, sometimes when I drop down my dynamite, I move out of the way so it just bounces me back or like a different direction so I can fake people out and like make them burn their super, like especially in heist. Do you ever, have you ever perfectly timed his star power to dodge a Frank smash? I have. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Do you, have you ever used his star power to like just jump over a barley attack? Um, I have. I don't know if it's the best use to be up close to a barley though. That's true, that's true. What is one of the funniest ways that you've used Dynamite's star power? Um, I'd say once in heist, I it was me against three brawlers. So I used my star power and then I threw my super when I was waiting. So I bounced up and then I bounced off my um my super into the back like little area of their safe and then I just destroyed it when they were <laughs> on the other side of the wall. That's so funny. I can just imagine all of them being like, why can't we hit this dynamite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Hey, well, Lukey, thank you so much for jumping on today's video. Um, really been a pleasure talking to you, and I definitely feel like I am ready to go and play Dynamite. I, I think my first thing is to jump into practice and see just practice jumping around. Do you have, before we go ahead and end this video, do you have any shout outs you'd like to give anybody? Okay, I'd like to shout out my pushing buddies um, Skunk, C Man, Dupe71, PSO505, Tamir, Blitz Battler. Your boy Fred and Whackjack Gang sixty nine, and and me right? I, I helped you push yes, a little bit. Yes, for like, sure you. Like once. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, cool. Hey, well, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure you put in the comment section below which brawlers you would like to see top pro interviews with. And then on top of that, if you have missed previous brawlers and you want to see those interviews, I do have a playlist in the description of this video. Lastly, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors. If you are interested in receiving some special perks by becoming one of those, make sure you check that link in the description. For now, this is Lukey Bear and Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.